these are some leeks I've grown on from seed. I've already planted some of these leeks in my raised bed. In fact the raised bed's quite full now, the three raised beds I have, and so I have no space for these leeks. So I'm just looking to do something perhaps a little different with these, uh, because I don't want to waste them. A 10 inch pot, filled with compost, about 2 inches below the rim, and I've marked it out with white pebbles. I'm looking to get 10 of those leeks into this pot. What I'm looking to do is dibber some holes, 10 holes, pop in 10 leeks, weave it a compost, water them in, and that's, uh, that's 10 leeks in a 10 inch pot. Why 10? 10 inch pot, 10 leeks, why not? Okay. And I'll dibber these holes about 3 inches deep. And the compost has been firmed, so I'm hoping these holes actually hold up and they don't collapse in on one another. And if these grow on successfully, what I'm actually looking to do, this, this two inch of pot that has no compost in it at the top, um, if the leaks get above that, then what I look to do is fill that with compost just to blanch the stem of the leak. But at the minute, it lacked as a bit of a wind protection, if you like, for the leaks. Uh, the wind won't get at them so much with, with that lip. Right, just pop these in loosely for the time being. Make sure we've got ten. That's it, ten leaks. So we'll try and get all the roots in as best we can. Take that leaf off. Put them in like that. like that. There's more roots out than in on this one. Let's push them in with our finger. Okay. And I'll give them a drink. No we won't. We'll just some compost in on top of those roots. I know lots of people actually just leave the hole as it is, but I prefer a wee bit of compost on top of the roots, to be honest. That's it. Give a bit of a shake. I'll give each one a drink. Can you hear the blackbird singing? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's just straighten them up a bit. Make them look as though they're equally spaced. Should be. Voila, 10 leaks, 10 inch pot. When they get a bit taller, We'll fill this with compost, just shake it in, try and blanch them up a bit. Job's done. Let's see how they go. These 10 leeks have been in this 10 inch pot now for just short of two months. Originally grown from seedlings indoor, brought outside and planted in this pot uh, when they were very small. What you see here now is just short of two months worth of uh, growth. As you can see, they're getting very quite tall now uh, and they're starting to look a bit crowded. But then you would expect that with 10 leeks in one pot. Um, that should make them search for the light, get a bit leggy and probably have a longer shank on them. What I'm going to do today is what I said I would do in the first video. 
I'd left about two inches worth of depth in here. I don't know if you can see my finger. I'll try, try them both. Just about a finger's depth. There's about that much depth uh, left in the pot to give them some protection from the wind. And as they've got taller, as you can see, I've had to put small sticks in and tie them up a bit because they were flapping about. But now I'm going to do what I said I would do on the first video, and is that is to earth them up. And I've got some spent compost here. This is compost that I've been using on early potatoes, which I've now lifted. And basically what I'm going to do is put that into the pot and then shake the pot to make it go, uh, to fill the pot up. So that hopefully we don't actually get this in the flags of the leeks. Uh, for the uninitiated, the flags are the leaves. And then when this settles down, we should be able to take those out and the, the, leeks, the leeks will support themselves. And as there's no root disturbance, although I'm actually adding more compost, there will be no need to water this in because, as I've just said, there's no root disturbance. YouTube will, YouTube will be telling me that the video is shaky and could they uh, sort it out for me, but I'll tell them no thank you, it's meant to be shaky, we're shaking a pot. That's it, a couple more and then we'll call that a day. Okay, I've got all of these uh, cardboard inserts off except this last one. You can you can bear with me on this. They're just they're plastic inserts. We'll call them plastic cardboard inserts, right? You can see the leaks now. Okay, um, let's drop this. Uh, let's drop this pot. And if you've been um, if you've been following these leaks at all on my channel, you'll know that when I started, I brought these out from indoors and um, they were not as thick as a blade of grass when they went in here and had I not put them in here I would have been throwing them out um, so this looks as though it's a result whatever we get okay Let's see if we loosen them up a bit let's see if they lift out I don't want to come. It's going to take a bit out. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh. Now, as you can see from that, completely root bound. But I had no option. I, you know, there's nowhere else I could grow these things. The raised bed was full, and they would have uh, finished up being thrown out. So this is a crop for nothing, really, and grown on the patio. Oh, this might take a bit of breaking out all these roots uh, it may get easier as they uh, as we get further down it might not Ooh. No. I'm gonna need to go indoors and get something to make life a bit easier here so I'll just switch the video off give me a minute Sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. I didn't realise that uh, these would be such a. Ah, oh, this spade's going through now. It's not ten leaks in here, so I've got to be careful that um, I don't actually split a leak. Oh, that's looking better. So what we'll do? We'll take these five and just sit them to one side, and we'll try and get these five out, shall we? That one looks as though it wants to come. First leg. How's that? That's our first one. Okay. Let's see if we put it through again without cutting into one. Leak. Oh, 
I'll wash this soil off in the, the water that I use for the carrots. Oh, this looks a good one. I'd like to get this one without uh, damaging it. Let's see if we can. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Slid off like a collar. Nice leak. like that okay five leaks five more leaks <laughs> this is a bit more of a challenge than I thought it would be but as I said this is the first time I've grown leaks in pots so I didn't want to expect, but I do now. <laughs> Be careful. Let's see what we've got here. As I say, I started them from seeds indoors, brought them out, and put them into this this 10-inch pot, and called called them patio leaks. I mean, look at that. Now they're not the biggest leaks in the world, but they were never meant to be. They were just meant to be eating leaks. You know, something that we you, you could prepare as a veg and eat. And I'm certain you can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this uh, compost off um, and then I'll tidy these up a bit more and then we'll take a shot of them when they're properly tidied up shall we because you normally have to take a couple of uh, flags off oh, in uh, leaf growing parlance uh, leaves you normally have to take a couple of leaves off there to tidy these things up I'm sure they'll look lovely tidied up. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten leaks. Run in a ten inch pot on a patio. Just give me a minute, I'll clean these up. Bring the carrots back into the shot and we'll see what we've got. Okay, there's the 10 leaks. Not the biggest in the world as I've already said. But 10 fine leaks, 10 good eating leaks. It wouldn't have stood a chance if I'd if I hadn't used a pot. A pot on my patio. Um, started these guys off as seed. Brought them out, planted them up, stood them out on the patio, let them get on with it, basically. Same with the carrots, there's the carrots. Okay, I don't know if you can see those. Let's um, split them up a bit, see if that makes a nice picture for you. How's that? There's the carrots, all grown on a patio in pots. So if you've got some space, flat area, paved area, patio area, support its seeds, not much more than that. Hope you've enjoyed the video.
Right, Mark. Let's see if we've got one for you. Come on, I don't know what you're after. Oh, there's a couple of small ones. Here we go. Here. Take that one if you want it. If you want it. Good girl. And there's another small one for you as well. That's it. All we've got to do is get these indoors before Molly gets us at them again and um, a tidy up. Again, thanks for watching.